A startling assessment of the crisis in Iraq. The Pentagon reporting that Islamic militants have infiltrated many Iraqi military units. Also warning that government there forces are so dependent on Shiite militias and Iranian advisors that Americans sent there to help face serious risk. General Jack Keane's been following this four-star General Fox News military analyst. And sir, good morning to you. Let's start morning, with what you believe is a threat to the United States security because of this. Explain that. Well, certainly ISIS is the most serious threat the Middle East has had in the post-9-11 era. And actually, it, it dwarfs what Al-Qaeda, the so-called 9-11 Al Al-Qaeda used to be. This is the new face of Al-Qaeda. And this movement, the ISIS movement in Syria and Iraq, determined to destabilize the entire Middle East, is what the 9-11 uh, al-Qaeda was dreaming about, and that is establishing a caliphate to take control of these countries. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. That is not in U.S. national interest. Number two, it's a breeding ground for terrorist fighters that are coming from Europe, from other parts of the Middle East, and from the United States, who gain experience, gain insight, and return home and conduct lethal acts against their, their homeland. So this is a growing menace to the United States, and it already is a menace to the Middle East. Yeah, so what do we do about it? And, and maybe there's another question of that that's similar. What are we doing about it? Well, we're not doing much of anything about it, to be quite frank about it. I mean, I, I think our focus should be on ISIS, and our second focus should be on the political complex situation in Iraq, which we know if it changes will certainly help the Iraqi situation. But I believe now... While time is of the essence, because this is a growing movement with hundreds of fighters joining this movement, we should get after them. We have targets in Syria and in Iraq, staging bases, equipment storage areas, command and control facilities, sanctuaries that we can take down. And we should take this down now. We will have to deal with it eventually, Bill. It, it, it's just the harsh reality of it. But the sooner I, we, we get we after it, the better. We don't hear about airstrikes or anything like that happening now, which, which would seem to suggest that um, they're digging in and, and they would well, be getting stronger. Well, actually, and they're growing in numbers because clearly everybody in the Middle East recognizes who is radicalized that this is a movement that is literally on the march and this is a successful movement they're not hiding in the mountains of pakistan as al-qaeda leadership has been doing for ten plus years these are out in the open operating as an army and achieving success this is something you want to be a part of if you're a radical islamist and certainly that is happening the sooner we start dealing with this as a threat to the middle east the better it's going to be for u.s. interest and for u.s security interests as well. Well, keep us updated on this, okay, General? I know you will. Jack Keane, with a keen eye on what's happening there. Thank you, sir. Take care. Okay.